Hello everyone, my name is Peter Sarri, I'm very glad to be here. I'm really sorry that I couldn't have been there with you physically in, in one of my favourite parts of the world, in South Kerry. Um, so just to thank uh, Fiona and Patty and everyone at Amberdeen for the invitation, both the real and to this virtual event. So I'm just going to read three poems. Um, and I'm going to read, the first I'm going to read is called Add to Dictionary, and it sort of was inspired by a photo that, that appeared in, I think it was the Guardian newspaper a few years ago, and it just showed a man sitting in the debris of his flat in Aleppo, um, surrounded by total mess and chaos. And yet at the same time he was playing his wind-up gramophone, he was playing his records, uh, his music to himself in this, in this apartment. Anyway, that's, that's where it comes from, so it's set there. Add to dictionary. Shahad, Rawan, Maram, this hand in the rubble, these broken shutters, shrapnel on the bed cover, ignore all you possibly can, but come back to this. Abu Omar in his shattered room, listening to the last music in the world on his wind up record player. Add to strategy, the barrel bombs on the hospital, the mourners buried at the funeral, ignore all in sleep return. Add to shelter, the child in the underground nursery crying, joy, that's what I love. Add peril, unignorable. Add to dictionary, al Calisea, al Firdus, al Sahim. Add to debris, this wrecked souk, this persistent bread. Add to city, every broken street, smashed courtyard. Ignore nothing. Let the pages spread their maps till every bone is pinned, every lost breath uttered. And I'll continue with a poem called So Much, which is really, just, it's a memory of, of my aunt and of many summers spent on a farm in County Galway. So much. So much has gone already. The stone-flagged kitchen shaking with argument and laughter. The chair by the range and the dogs in attendance, the three dogs of summer, long scattered. Your own patience at the heart of the drama, boots on, tending the cattle, tending us, leading us across the vanished land, continually patrolled, fields still lit and wholly occupied, mornings hurried into, as if the world might fail. Whatever we did, even this late, we accomplish. The yard swept, the water brought from the stream, the hay made, while the sun loiters on the desk. Whatever we carried, we still bear, still wakes in our hands to come with us again, the dogs by our side, and the radio sings from its dusty shelf, bringing the world to where we crouch, wrapped in the parlour as the milk hits the angled pail. And I'll finish with a poem, set in Kerry, set in a place we love, uh, Jerry Nair and Cara Daniel, um, and this one's for Enda, and it's just called Where Are You Going? Where the grass path, butter path, persist from wrist to wrist, where the bridal path, mountain paths coil through us, the rock path rears and scrapes our fingertips, where the cloud path, boat path, set out their stall, and the bay runs the length of your spine, where the harbour heat where the harbour heaves up and comes to stay, waves lapping like a chair, where the falk path, snipe paths are, and the long road long taken wakes in us, the egret slips under the sheet, where the thrush path is, the sorrow path, where the skylark flits above the scrub and the orchid descends on your eyelid, where lizards trail and snails progress, a storm breaks open the ancient riddens, Shells at our feet, the old fires raked again, where we can roam the shark path, whale path, where the gannets and shearwaters dive, where the puffin holds up time and the dolphins repeatedly flare in the room. So, thanks again for watching and listening, and to Freya here for filming this. Thank you. Yeah, my head is <laughs>
everybody, my name's Enda Wiley and I'm delighted to read just some short poems for you today. Um, I want to say hello to Paddy and Fiona and everyone at the Amagan Festival and sorry we can't be here this year, but hopefully we meet again next year. So the first poem I'm going to read is called The Painter on His Bike and it is the title poem of my new collection, which came out just before lockdown, luckily. Um, and it's written for the painter James Hanley. The Painter on His Bike the painter on his bike balances his father, sketched in pencil, wrapped in paper on his handlebars. As he cycles down Hatesbury Street, the twist of string around the frame loosens for a second, catches in the wheel. The painter's breath caught too by the sudden sight of his dead father's eyes. They saw me before I saw myself. He stops at the curb tugs at the twine, frees it from the spokes, sets off again, the bike wobbling, bumping over potholes and tram lines, the picture beating against his knee. He is cycling the portrait home, and later a fire lit, the paper unbound. Father, whose eyes rise up from the face your son drew, like two dark lost moons. Well, sadly, in 2020, we lost an awful lot of really fine artists, um, Derek Mahan, Kieran Carson, um, and I'm thinking of Janet Malarney in this poem, the brilliant sculptor who also sadly died in Italy during lockdown. So I'm going to read this poem, Solar Eclipse, for her. There had been a solar eclipse, and I'm, I was a neighbour of hers, and in the darkness of the eclipse, I banged on her door and she let me in. And on her kitchen floor, I saw the most beautiful peacock that she had made. Solar Eclipse for Janet Malarney. Take a chance, knock. You might be let in through the wooden door. Step carefully, but do not be afraid. He only wants to startle you. Peacock on the kitchen floor, who flew from Ravenna and landed here to strut below the pomegranate tree. Indigo blue and emerald green, this bird of linoleum marquetry. His eye of fallen fruit, ruby red, curious within his tiny head. Take a chance, go there, so you may know the quiet square, the white door, and how, after the moon has passed be between sun and earth, sudden light will strike the lamellae of this bird, a thousand coloured spots shimmering on the kitchen floor. My own mother died in lockdown and I want to read this poem in memory of her and the childhood that we had, which was a really happy one, out by Dun Leary. Home for my parents. If I could go back, it would be to there. Early summer and I would be barefoot. The line of hot tar in the middle of the road bubbling under my toes, the tree's blossoms a spread of pink below our bedroom window. There's the squawk of gulls rising up from the fish at Dunleary Pier, the squeal of children leaping over the hedge nets of back garden play. The more you eat, the more you jump. There's the sun through the kitchen window, glinting on my mother's hair. She swivels from a full sink, scattering suds and laughter as she bends to me. If I could go back, it would be to there. Those rooms, the smell of dinner, key in the lock, our father calls home. Night bringing its skillet of dreams, our ticking clock wound tight. Thanks for listening.